save for anything uh, down the bolt. Then let's see if now with no presence of Ash, they're going to choose to go virus again. It's not going to be the case. <laughs> they're, 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 they're going all out. It's a Lucian lane. I said I wanted mano a mano. Well, the gauntlet has been dropped. There you go. I'm like, I'll, uh, I'll see if uh, Light does respond in kind or... Again, he is the kind of guy that's fine going with like a late game. So maybe they just go with something that can deal with the pressure of an early Lucian. Uh, I think this pick and these next two for Wavo will be very telling if they go back to a style of split pushing. Tree equals happy. And I think Wavo is going to be very happy yet again. I feel like it would be a very good um, choice to go against Lucian to play for the split push. Uh, because all of the good pairings to put in the bot lane, the double AD carry with Ash, the Zeri Lulu that does really well into any Lucian lane have been taken out. Uh, and right here, of course, locking back in that Maokai that brought them that huge success in the early game uh, versus LNG in that game one is going to be very pivotal to Sun locking as well. Now, Light plays Tristana bot lane. Very great pick to push back the Lucian as well. However, Shahu yeah. shined on the pick <laughs> in his IG series. So that's a great flex, actually, from the set of Weibo game. You just slam the Tristana here and put it into mid lane or bot lane, however they wish. I really like the way they use this Tristana to kind of push in mid lane really heavily with Shahu's complete guidance. Later, Shahu like hovered over Shahu for the entirety of the early game the last time around. Uh, and want to see that pressure utilized here as well, if it is going to be that mid jungle duo. Uh, definitely need to be strong there, but some picks still relaying the uh, message for LNG that they want to have a little bit of team fight pressure with that as Zero locked in again. It wasn't the problem in game number one. Oh, absolutely not. I think if anything, Scout was the best performing player uh, on the side of LNG. He tried his best to try and keep the team uh, afloat. However, here Weibo Gaming are going to build more of a front to back. Uh, composition, which is a little bit uncharacteristic. Now I'm saying front to back. Is it as it locks in like a Sante? And it's going to be the case. It's one of his strongest champions, one of his most big champions, of course, from earlier on in the season when the Sante used to be a terror on the top side of the map. But I'm going to bring back a flashback. CDZ on Kasante has solo killed Zika this season. <laughs> so if that doesn't bring my deja vu, I don't know what does. You get 16 solo kills in season, you know, it makes it easy to be picking off heads of some of the top, top laners in the league. I love a little bit of respect given over to Zika, though. The Cassante was a mainstay for both these guys in the regular season. Zika, actually, a little less so than the uh, average of our top laners. I feel like I see so many times top laners have, like, plus 15 games on Cassante in our league. But we get into this second phase of bans. That Senna, very particular towards light, as well as the Poppy being banned away Hold against up. LNG. Hold up. That Poppy ban right here kind of smells to me like a Kalista Renata bot lane coming out from the side of Wave of Game. It was very oppressive. Loving the Renata ban right here. Yeah. To try and break apart such a powerful duo in the likes of Kalista and Renata. And uh, I feel like what gave it away was mainly the poppy ban right here. Now, I'm wondering if they're going to pivot off of that and potentially give LeBlanc to Jaffu again. And then go towards like something like Tristana on the boat side of the map. However, still again, a very potent, very powerful pick. But, yeah, the poppy ban, like the poppy would... ban did smell like Kalissa. <laughs> I would love to see Crisp's Rakan. Uh, again, weird combo there, but Crisp on Roamers. I just need to see him have some ability to get out on the map. We saw it even with the Ash and the utility of the Hawkshot, but that is when Crisp has been at his deadliest so far this split. Can I be a little crazy here? I think I might like a Nico for Chris okay, right here. Okay. Playing into that double range, into the Nami Lucian, sets up the team fights really well. Lucian, very short range, AD carry. You grab your Nico, you drop it into that team fight. You create so much space for your team to play around. You have the Maokai creating so much space, the Kasanti as well. I feel like a Nico could be a great, great choice here, as well as any other uh, pretty much melee champion as well, but the use definitely suffer uh, into Lucian Ambulance. Ooh, hold up. That would be huge. Hold up. But uh, I do love the confidence of a Renekton still being played for Zika, still also grabbing the Rel for Weiwei. There's that Nico you talked about. I, that's, I, I love Weibo Gaming. I, I, I just love what they're doing. <laughs> I feel like LNG are pinning them on red side and they have all the answers myself. 
They yeah. pick a very safe red side top laner in the likes of Ekesante. Really difficult to gank or dive from red side due to the wall structures. Maokai worked wonders for them, but uh, got MVP for the game, Sha Hao. Sha Hu on his Tristana was by far one of the, be the best performing Tristanas uh, yeah. in the playoffs so far, especially in his IG series. And then you've got a bot lane that can pressure Lucian Nami as well cre as create so much space with the Nikon Maka in the team fights. I'm loving what Weibo have so far. Also, really like to see the direction the coach was giving. He was literally handing between Xiao Hu and Xiao Hao, saying, "This like this needs to work. You got to find some strategies there." Because the last time around, there was so much pressure given by this duo, and honestly, it's been a duo that has been really huge. I, I don't know if you remember, if the audience remembers, but at the beginning of the split, the entire promo, one of the biggest hitting moments, was Xiao Hao after their loss last year on AL, a devastating one, and a, a crying interview afterwards. But the quick tick into Xiao Hu saying, I will lift you to that mountaintop, we will get there together. This is another step towards that direction. This is another step in Xiao Hao becoming a, a prominent jungler in the LPL. Now it is game two that LNG desperately want as they want to claw their way back into this best of five. But Weibo struck first and struck hard. Same way they started off. The last time around, just a couple days, we will see game two between LNG and Weibo. Okay, cheers Crowd from both force. sides. Yeah, absolutely. And now I love how you set up Xiao Hao because He's the one replacing Weiwei. Weiwei was in his exact spot last year, making it all the way to World's Finals with Weibo Gaming. And now Xiao Hao is the one replacing him. He is the one stepping into his shoes. And he's doing a fantastic job right here. And if anything, he has the chance to uh, eliminate him from this bracket as well. Uh, get him out of the playoffs. And we talked about a lot of the win conditions for Weibo Gaming, but for LNG... I feel like it's very clear. Get Gala ahead. Yeah. Gala on the Lucian plus Nami combo. I need Weiwei to be active this time around. I need Weiwei to path towards that bot side of the map to get Gala ahead. Early kills onto this Lucian. Get that Lucian huge mid-game spike. Lucian in the mid lane. Chunk down anyone who walks up. Dip into river. Take controls of objectives. This is the plan for LNG. I just need to see more of Weiwei in this particular game than I did in game one. And I think this game is going to be very telling on how the rest of the games in the best of go because we're getting a version of LNG that are trying to strike back a little bit to Weibo, who Weibo have traditionally been a very slow team in the first 15 minutes, but they've turned it up a little bit, learning their lesson from IG. And it's something where the Maokai is going to have to become a question if Xiao Hao has yet another pivotal performance on it and where he dictates the map this game. It's going to be really important to keep an eye on. We actually get the level two gained by Gala and Hung first down here. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, disrespectful from Weibo Gaming because they knew they were losing out on in terms of XP and push. So the level 2 was going to come out from LNG. Burns out the, uh, the heal from Light, which is kind of huge, especially when you know that Rel is going to be passing towards the bot side of the map. You are in a, in a little bit of a timer right here in terms of getting dived. Great trades up top side for Zika as well. On to ZDZ. That's exactly what you want to be seeing if you're an LNG fan. Your top side winning and your bot side winning. <laughs> However, okay, Tristan Tristana is an almighty champion when it comes to priority and push in the mid lane. Uh, but Scout, luckily, is on a champion that scales. So you'll get pressured a little bit in the early stages of the game, but then you come online. I really like the Tristana into the Azir. Feels like uh, Shao, who's been waiting for this, he saw he saw Scout in his way. He's like, I just got to get this going. He showed it off in that first series. Now see if he can do it yet again. Uh, two legendary mids uh, going at it. Like an RNG, uh, big legacy builder for Xiaohu. EDG for Scout winning a world championship. Not too shabby, but both of them making their own legacies on new teams. LNG for Scout another year. Xiaohu Xiao for Weibo yet another year. But it, it's curious how their stories have developed so far. And now they're going to have pivotal roles in uh, helping out their junglers. Wait, wait. Strike it first on the skull crab. I, I feel like they're going to get Xiao to deep into river right here. Xiao Hao is wrapping around, Ooh. which means that Wei Wei does not know that he's there. Gala, There's not a the tree healthiest. Coming for you. 
Well, you gotta watch out. Tree equals happy face for Weibo. He gets the nature's advance, and there you go. Chris gets first blood for Weibo. They strike on the bot side where we said LNG needed to be strong. Oh, that was so clever from Xiao Hao. He knew, he knew that Wei Wei was going for the scuttle crab, and instead of contesting it and giving away his position on the map, he decided to wrap around instead. Now, Scout is gonna try to put some hurt onto Xiao Hu, but Xiao Hu with the first tower plating four minutes into the game. Wei Bo again with a fantastic yeah. opener to game two of the series. And that's what's crazy. This Weibo, right? We literally were calling them the tortoise. This was going to be the matchup of the tortai, as I called it, because both teams played so slow. But Weibo have turned it up a notch. We actually take a look at that early play here. Oh, that was so clever. Koshaha was wrapping around, trying to go for the skull crab, not seeing Wei Wei. But the second he spots him onto the ward, he just wraps around. He knows that Gala and Hank have just taken a very aggressive trade, and I'm loving the flash E coming out from Chris to force a flash out of Hank, which means that Xiao Hao oh. doesn't even have to burn any summoners. He just walks in, throws sapling, twisted advance, dead. Wei Wei missing the shattering strikes there. Maybe there was a chance to turn around. Here he comes to uh, fight Xiao Hao in front of the Telegrubbies. Guys, this, these, are, these are some cartoons. We just want to be friendly and watch some cartoons together. Xiao Hao, he does uh -oh. not realize there is a giant croc there. It does end up seeing him at the last second. Trying to get away here. Not going to have an angle, but Xiao Hu here to put some damage onto Zico while Wei Wei is taking about that down one. those two scuttle, at least the rift scuttles. As now, Xiao Hao makes it out alive somehow. I, I, I don't know about that one. I think that was a huge misstep right here from Xiao Hao. Because Xiao Hu was on a reset. Xiao Hu was on a reset. Zidi Zidi did not have priority on the top side whatsoever. And Xiao Hao starts the void grabs. Luckily for him, does manage to join one out. But well, that's the TP out of your mid laner. That's your own flash. And this one void grab better be worth it because you lost quite a bit of pressure. Uh, in terms of your mid lane priority right here, if Xiaohu ends up going down to a Weiwei Wei gank with no TP, you lose so much. Look at Weiwei. Wei. He's been so patient. Try to see if he can catch out Xiaohu. Xiaohu, he still has Flash, still has his rocket jump. Gonna get some damage back on a scout. The buster shot helps even up the odds here. Now he can rocket jump <laughs> his way back after the reset from thumbs the up. explosive charge. Yeah, hits him with a thumbs up. Nice try. Good one. And again, we expected Weiwei Wei to be a little bit more active. He has. He's been towards the top side of the map. He's been towards the bot side of the map. A little bit later was a bot. But we still see Wei Wei trying to make plays onto the map. I feel like LNG heavily rely on him in this early game on their rel to try and get them ahead. Now, of course, he's looking for that level 6, level 5. A couple more camps potentially clearing that top side of the map that's going to be coming up. Level 6 is going to be huge, especially fighting around that dragon that's up and available right now onto the map. What's crazy for me, for Weiwei, even though we're seeing some rough performances early into this one, it, it, he was literally in the World Finals in, in summer. It was actually insane. This guy wasn't even playing in spring. He came in in summer for Weibo and had a big run to help uh, facilitate around the team. And it feels like now in playoffs yet again, he needs to try to light that fire under himself a little bit more. The rail performances so far, just trying to get the facilitation for them. They are a little late to this dragon. Weibo already struck it down to about a thousand health. And Xiao Hao will claim that first dragon for Weibo. Yeah, absolutely. Again, they're playing with the timers, right? Scout was all the way back in base. It was resetting. Weibo didn't use chunked. that. Wait, 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 please! I think I just gassed or cursed him a little bit. Luckily, he won't fall, so I don't have to take any responsibility there. But it is Weiwei getting pressed heavily. I'm going to have to say it. I'm going to say what I'm seeing. LNG look lost. Ooh, loving the clone right there from Chris to tank most of the culling coming out from Gala, but LNG look lost. They're late to the plays. They're not playing towards the strong side of the map. And even though we did say, hey, play towards Gala, try and get that Lucian ahead. If you look over on the top side of the map, Zika has been absolutely crushing this matchup right here. So I would say, hey, if it's not working out towards the bottom of the map, Nico very slippery, Kalista very slippery, Tristana very slippery, hard to catch. If you're a rel, play towards the top side, maybe try for a dive onto ZDZ. They have been... There have been chances where ZDZ has been pretty low, and even though a Cassante, it's still doable. Try to get your Renekton ahead and then use the power of the Renekton to play towards a neutral objective to then funnel gold into your Lucian. Look at these trades. Zika has been smashing it. He's having a lot of good presence up there. Now Hogan gonna roam his way up as well. Not level six yet. Back gonna be going through from Zika, but 
That also brings in a conversation that I love to highlight for LPL playoffs because we are literally back to back to back to back. It ain't no stopping. So a little bit of momentum goes a long way. And yes, it went all the way to five for Weibo. You got to stress test yourself a little bit. And maybe that leads to some of these strengths in the early parts of this best of five here. Hey, you know what I call that? Official practice. It's better <laughs> than it's better than screams. Why play three official games when you can play five and juice out all the information that you can about your own gameplay, about your opponent's gameplay, etc. etc. Now Scout is looking at Shahu. Ooh, flash out, buster shot there. He's gonna have a rocket jump available, gets over to safety. Scout doesn't have any way into the fight now, and Hunk's gonna have to flash. Pop Blossom flash into on a way way. That is also the Tangle Barb. There are so many lockdown potentials from Weibo. They force so many flashes from LNG. Absolutely, Shaku and Crisp lost their own ones as well. Again, Crisp using that clone from Nico to tank the calling and Huge fight up on the top side of the map. They really want to deny the five Void Grub buff they have from, a here. from LNG. ZDZ so far away. No TP. One already gone. They just need to get one of these potentially here. If they can sneak in. Xiao is going to get bubbled up here now. Uh, cleanse actually from Gala too. Xiao is looking to jump in. They do end up getting in here in time to deny that fifth stack of the Grubs. That was crazy. CDZ walked all the way from the bot <laughs> side of the Long map. Long distance travel. <laughs> Absolutely. Literally, he's committed to this relationship, okay? He <laughs> traveled all the way from that bot lane tower just so he can make sure he's there for his loved ones to take that second void grab to deny the buff off of LNG. Again, LNG are desperately trying to get advantages onto the map, but as you will see, Weibo have the answer. Scout, see Jaku throws him towards his team. Great. But that was a lovely flash coming out from Jaku to get out of the CC from Merle. Throws out Scout, which means the damage does not land from Azir because he's not there. And then just rocket jumps his way out of dodge. Flash force from Nami as well because Chris was there onto the Nico ult. And again, Weibo Gaming are just running away with everything. LNG can just not seem to land a single kill, a single opportunity. Xiaohu has taken so much pressure this game. It is insane. And he's able to just utilize a lot of the resets that you can have, manipulating that explosive charge to get a double rocket jump, things like that. It is going to be so big for Weibo to kind of push around these fights like that. Because LNG, they really want like a front to back, a big shove from Scout, a big engage from Weiwei, maybe a little bit of a flank action from Zika. But they're going to have to try to put that together now, especially with about 45 seconds till another dragon for Weibo would be two in a row for them. I feel like I just want to see LNG, all five members, on the same screen. Uh, there's a bunch True. of times where Scout, you know, he's trying to shove Shahu into his team. Zika is fighting ZDZ on a different place on the map and then TPs into Team 5. LNG are good at team fighting. They're, they shine when Gala is able to put down the damage for them. Therefore, set up for him, facilitate for him, be all five members on the same damn screen. Shahu found out. Ooh, he has a lot of damage to put in. He doesn't even have his first item yet. That Buster Shot's going to get that trade down for Shahu's favor. And he is going to push this wave in. He still has TP available. Scout's no doubt going to have to burn his now. Absolutely. That is a TP down from another pressure point coming in from Shahu Gala. Ooh, 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 wait, wait. That's the Nature's Grass coming out as well. They're going to tag onto Weiwei. Ooh, double bubble. You boil it in trouble there. Pop Blossom from Chris. Those going to lock down Weiwei and Light rends his life from him. Zika is here. Gets caught by the Tangle Bob. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's an avalanche uh -oh. coming with you. And he's got two in Tofus. That's double kill for Light. Make it more here with a trade back from Hung. He able to get down Xiao Hao, but the pressure is there. And Weibo look to press under the turret. They're going to take a few more tower plates right here. There's two members running from base. They're looking for Zika, but diving right now, Arenek, and when you know that Azir is already on the rotation, would be absolutely catastrophic for Weibo Gaming after winning such a fight right here. And they're going to press their reset buttons, run straight towards that dragon. You see Xiao Hao died in this exchange, so he's going to be running straight towards that dragon. And ZDZ, even though he did press his B button trying to reset, he's going to stick around trying to go for that dragon contest. Uh, get a TP from Xiaohu. It'll take a lot of damage on the way out, but he'll go towards top side of the map to his split-pushing desires. 
We also have first items fully completed for a majority of members here at least. Xiaohu is going to be close, I'm sure, after he gets all the gold up there. But we did get the Yumu's first item for Light, as well as the Static Ship first item for Gala. Now, this is a little questionable right here from LNG because they know the Renekton is on the tops of the map. And we said how powerful Fatuli is to have the Renekton in these team fights. Weibo know that Zika is stuck towards the top side of the map. However, they do not want to be taking any chances because the river has not necessarily been set up for them. They do not have any uh, resources onto the Kalista either. There is no flash, there is no heal for light, so they don't want to be running into a 50-50 on whether they can win this uh, team fight or not. Again, I just want to give huge props to Chris. I think he's had so far an incredible series. The space he's able to buy both with Ash and Nico. I just want you to look at this particular fight. Because Gala sees an opening. He'll go in. He done most of the calling onto Gala. And Crisp again uses the clone to absorb majority of it. And the second the double bubble lands, Crisp knows his job. Instantly presses R, splits apart Hang and Gala from their jungler. And Wei Wei ends up going down. And then the second the TP lands from Zika, he roots him as well. Like, yeah, I cannot it's, stress it's, it's, enough. It's, it's, how much of a banger for Sirius Crisp has been having so far? And it's only one and a half games. And he realizes that he has enough space with that Pop Blossom to force Gala, Gala to literally do nothing if he doesn't have a calling up. That lack of range that LNG have is starting to bite them a little bit. Scout will take the ire of ZDZ here. Uh -oh. oh, number 17. It does have to use that Shifting nope. Sands out of there. Not going to have to burn anything else just yet. But we're looking at top side of the map because Rift Herald is on the table here. And look at the TPs, ZDZ does not have his scout, doesn't either. This is very dangerous for scout right here because Ghost is coming up really, really soon from ZDZ. And ZDZ is looking at the magic number 17 to add to his solo kills. Hank takes a huge jump. Wait, 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 in a lot of trouble. Shaohu looking for the angle here. Nature's Grasp going to connect in the end. No explosive charge on him as it went on to Hung. Oh, oh he goes ZDZ, in. he wants to get some more of those solo kills you were talking about. Can't get the unstoppable combo and he might just die. Oh! That's why scout is the emperor on Azir. Number 17 you were looking for, ZDZ. Have you met Scout Azir yet? Chris is looking. Ooh, Chris finding a nice combo. Tidal Wave on the way out, though. Nice Magnet Storm. Xiaohu gets bubbled as well. Ren's not going to be enough. Neither is the explosive charge, but Xiaohu wants it with the Buster Shot. And there he gets it. Now, Zika has found a flank on a Xiaohu. Xiaohu's trying to rocket jump his way out of that one. And LNG left wanting after that as Zika found an entrance but couldn't capitalize. Yeah, and at the end of the day, Weibo Gaming have to run away. There is no much mana or HP onto Shahu or Light, so they cannot contest walking up into this river. So it might, after all, be LNG taking control of that topside river to go for the Rift Herald. Again, a huge, huge mess when it comes to team fights between those teams. You see how hard they both love fighting for these neutral objectives. And yet again, I feel like Weibo Gaming have come out on top, getting yet another kill. Shahu, we criticized him. Both him and Scout, they've not had great <laughs> series. But look at Scout, let's start with him. Because it is it we said, his ghost is almost up. He's looking for his 17th solo kill and Scout's, Scout slams yeah. the door straight in his face. And jumping from one mid lane to another, what's Yahoo in this particular series? Very great ultimate right here from Chris, tramping way, way in place. And you will see that bone plating does wonders right here for Jaku because he tanks almost the entirety of the calling, flashes in to ult the rel, and then just rocket jumps himself out with the help of a few plants. A little thing I noticed in that uh, Azir trade as well is Scout waiting to use his Emperor's Divide until ZDZ was in mid-dash, knowing he can't use the Unstoppable. But now we get to see Xiaohu pouncing on the Weiwei again. He's very tanky, has the Magisorb. Tidal Wave coming in as well. He actually tanks up everything. And now Zika is the frontliner that LNG need. They will push them off Wait. this mid lane priority here. But it was again? also in the side lane that Scout got another solo kill on a ZDZ. CDZ is trying to desperately 1v1 Scout and it's just not going in his favor. Two solo kills right now for Scout and we said how he was set behind in game one and he was still all over the place for LNG. He was still the saving grace and right here he's banked. Two kills from zero from ZDZ. That is it's very, so very big for LNG when it comes to team fights. This Azir will be huge. And we were talking a little bit about uh, what's going to need to be banned by LNG, but that is here, maybe starting to rear its ugly head here. 
we will see Weibo actually trying to make a play on the Zika in the side lane. Xiaohu is going to tank the turret. Does stutter step his way out, and that's an easy juggle there. A little healing from Zika, but the rocket jump will help Xiaohu get out to safety. And they get another one onto Xiaohu, onto this Tristana. Oh, Ooh. wait, wait. I don't think, uh, you know, the, the Rel is going to find it. And an auto attack from Crisp is the one that gets it. Xiaohu just mind controls Weiwei a little bit. Absolutely. Get in, get out of dodge. The second you see Scout coming in, Scout almost with an hourglass uh, in his inventory. He's going to be absolutely invincible when he dives in. And yes, please, so was that replay. Because All right, what in the world is going Let's on? See. Oh, God. Okay, well, he interrupts him. That is very well done right here because I feel like... <laughs> He's just like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> he does he a lot of damage. Because his team won on the top side of the map, and now they're looking for Scout. Not wrong. Not wrong. Scout's going to go for the play on the Xiaohu, though. He's trying to get the outplay in for his divide, and he wants one kill back. He oh. gets it. Scout goes golden. He will not survive very much longer, but he got a kill back, and it was onto the mid laner. Almost takes down Light as well, but that's a big shutdown. 700 gold to Light. Still, there was a one versus four, and now LNG have pushed in the mid lane. There's Dragon coming up as well. LNG already have one. They have the Rift Herald. They can take so much pressure on the map right here from the side of LNG. Scout bought them so much time. Took down Shaku, which was the strongest member from Weibo Gaming as well. Great stuff coming here from LNG. We were waiting for a reply to all of this aggression, and Scout's Azir was the answer. Two mid lane towers plus a lot of vision control towards that bot side where the Dragon has already spawned. That's why he's the best to do it on the champion. And uh, LNG just took a game to wake up into this series, it seems. Able to punch back a little bit to Weibo. Now we're getting to the strengths that LNG and before this series, Weibo had. Because after 25 minutes is where these teams really turn on. Gala going to burn his cleanse here as he gets caught by Xiao Hao. Tidal Wave going to be used as well. So a couple big ulties, but it is going to be a dragon point and center with an even dragon state. And here's the difficulty now. With the Azir being fed, as we look at the replay as well, to show you why this Azir is mega fed, Shaq was going to literally TP uh, in his face, and they just use so many of their ultimates right here. You see Scout shoves him away. The heal is also used from light, and it's just not going to be quite enough. And then at the end of all this exchange, he almost kills light as well. That was a one versus four with two of the, the strongest members of Weibo Gaming literally beating uh, Scout and he still gets out with one kill. And the problem is, Light onto the Kalista, an extremely short range AD carry that loves playing when his team creates space around him. And you do have the Nico, the Cassante, and the Malka to create space for you. However, the Sun Soldiers do not make it easy at all yeah. for this Kalista to walk forward. The second you walk forward, you get instantly poked by Azir. You have to go back to base as a four versus five. So scout right here the second he starts poking down those hp bars lng will have so much freedom walking in for a fight and light needing to go with a little bit of defensive posture as well with the edge of night just to try to safety from any errant i guess skill shots uh but this is weibo returning to something they know very well and that's split pushing power bringing xiaohu into the side lane to try to take one this will be their first turret of the game so finally returning to something they know very well, but it means that there is a lot of standing gold even with this small lead for LNG still on the map for Weibo. They do end up burning objectives very quickly here with Scout having that second item, about two and a half, but they were looking on top side. And it's also pretty huge that they did get the two towers mid lane, right? That means that Weibo Gaming have a lot of scouting in the jungle to do before they even get anywhere near this Baron. Now they are pulling the trigger. Zika does have teleport to join his team if he needs to, but Shaku is all the way in base. And he doesn't have TP to get in. Nature's Grass coming across here now as well. 3,000 health on the bear. Can Xiaohao even get into the pit? He's going to flash. He's going to go. Whoa! He gets it. He steals it away. That's going to be a big bubble blocked out of by ZDZ. Triple knockback there. He will give his life. But it is four Baron buffs cloaking Weibo. Oh my God, Shaha heard me talking shh in the previous uh, in the previous <laughs> game. How I said he can do everything but smite the Baron. Gets revenge on Weiwei from stealing his Baron in game number one, and that is huge news for Weibo Gaming. You commented on it as well. They love playing the one through one. They love playing split push with Shaha on the side lane, having Baron up creeps being able to beat these towers down. Yeah. So much standing gold for Weibo Gaming. The game is dead even. You get a Baron, you get to stall to get the game state in a way that you want to play it. And Weibo Gaming really needed that breather. 
And it's awesome to see kind of some of the, the underlying currents for Weibo stay true, that side lane pressuring. But Hao, he's had 100% KP right now. He's had 90% plus in all of playoffs so far, 96 in the last game. He is everywhere, and he is the engine that helps facilitate this wonder start team. Absolutely, I agree with that. And on the Maokai back to back. And here we see why he's gonna throw in the ultimate. And he's just waiting around on the side. Flashes into the pit, smacks Baron wow. on the back end and smites it and gets out. What a giga chat move right there from Xiao Hao. Sealing the Baron away. I mean, it's just revenge, right? Weiwei stole his, his Baron in game number one. And, well, I guess it's not a good omen, is it? Weiwei stole the Baron, but ended up losing. <laughs> and then they lost. Yeah. And, and then... Well, don't read that far into it. It's uh -oh. fine. Let's just look uh -oh. at the surface level of re results-based <laughs> analysis. Don't go too deep. Uh, but it is something to think about where LNG, their composition does rely on a lot of item spikes and things like that. I, I think Zika will have a lot of really good entrances in the back line. My biggest thing is Gala has to find entrances. One of the things I love about the LPL is our Lucians hit different. They can find big moments even in late game where in a lot of other regions we see failings past that 30 minute mark. Gala has to be that guy this time around. And that third item spike that's right on the horizon, that'll be a moment of that pressure. Sure, but I'm getting a little bit concerned, you know. I, I, I've seen I've seen Ruler Solution and what he can do, and usually you want a very dominant or even lane phase translating into that mid game where you put that Lucian mid lane, whoever walks up gets a huge chunk of the HP bar gone, and then you dictate the map from there on out. However, Gala hasn't necessarily been able to have these big moments yeah. where he just dashes in with the Nam and gets chunked down because if he dash into a Maokai, a Nico, a Kalista you could end up going down and this has been a little bit of a blocker and this is the problem again with like very short range any carries like the lucian and like the like the Kalista. that they are going to struggle when you have a lot of setup and a lot of fucking oh. scout oh bo who's gonna get it shao who Ooh. flashes into the bush scout goes golden he's gonna go for it he gets the explosive he's oh. dead in midair scout with the cool guy looks will not even die to the explosion Three solo kills for Scout in one game. Takes down ZDZ twice. Takes down Shahu once as well. What can this man do? This is why he's so famous for his Azir. Three solo kills in one game. And you know what? He didn't choose any of the three. Everyone is taking the heat onto Scout and Scout stands tall. Xiaohu playing at the edge of his champ, but Scout just gets the better of him. Now they have advantage here, even with Xiaohu not there. Weibo are going to try to advance into this one. They don't need to fight for this. They could just give it over to LNG. Looks like that might be the decision in the end, because LNG have a lot of strength in the five-man. He's stepping up. They just want it. It's going to be taken over by Weiwei. Here comes the TP in from Xiaohu. The pop boss of Gumbo. Oh, and they're looking for the resets. Tidal Wave stops Xiaohu in his tracks, but here he comes with the damage profile. Crisp is in there. He goes golden. Zika flashes up the wall, finds a little bit of damage, but ZDZ on the scout, and they take him down. Now Xiaohu can go to Reset City, and it's looking like a beach paradise as Tristana will have the distance, the damage, and the length had to find the difference for Weibo. They pull it back from the break and they increase their lead by 3K. And Weibo did not want to take the chance. The 50-50, the four versus five. They waited for the timer until Shahu is back up alive. Use his teleport. What a fantastic team fight from ZDZ. Brings it all back around. Again, the spacing, the way that Weibo coordinate. This team fight win is gonna net wow. them three towers on the map, the entirety of mid lane, bot lane, and top at the same time in one team fight. Yeah. You lose one it team was, fight to Weibo Gaming, they'll take your map. It was literally four towers to two to one, rather, and then two, and then now it's six to four. As we see the 1v1 on the side, Scout getting the better of Xiaohu. Hey, you'll see. He tried to alter like these uh these creeps, but I he think doesn't he's have just any life skills. There. He doesn't have any life text. skills. And look at this here. Xiao Hao on the flank, trying to catch them going through that choke point in the tri bush, and they're waiting for Xiao Hu's uh TP to come back up. And look at ZDZ landing that Q3 of three members straight into that Nico yeah. ult. And what's Chris? Because he walks forward, he knows where Necton is on the side. So he'll walk forward, pin down Scout that instantly go gold into the hourglass, and another incredible 
Q3 coming out of ZDZ. Pushing Scout straight yeah. into his death. What a phenomenal team fight from Weibo Gaming. Their coordination is impeccable this series. The fact that that Nature's Grass connected onto both Weiwei and Scout, that Scout burns his flash, that he doesn't have literally anything after that. It feels so good to burn these cooldowns from Weibo, and they're dictating a lot of the fight pressure here so far. Doesn't mean that LNG are out of the fight. Again, their 5v5 is huge. Scout is a monster, but he's got to have the pivotal performance here. That is a 6,000 gold lead accumulated for the side of Weibo Gaming and a bunch of items in their inventory that hurt really hard. I feel oh, like the wow. key moment are here for LNG is having Zika pinned down uh, light onto this Kalista so they can play the team fight a little bit more freely. They need to choose. They need to do something. Weibo are just going to burn the bear. And now the engage from Weiwei goes wide. This is ripe for the picking for Weibo as LNG find themselves on the wrong side of the tracks. The bubble connects, but actually in the end, it does not. And uh, it looks like LNG might need to find an exit plan here. I wonder where their nearest exit is. It looks like it's through topside. Uh, honestly, I commend here Weibo Gaming for their patience. You definitely do not want to be following it into Fog of War. That Renekton can turn on you real quickly and you'll end up losing members. And especially because you haven't reset uh, right after the Barn buff. You see a lot of the items coming through. The Redemption, the third item coming in from the Maka as well, which is going to be a round doing. So they did have huge item spikes uh, that you definitely do not want to be giving away all the gold accumulated from these fights that Weibo Gaming have been putting uh, immaculously onto the Rift. And now Weibo Gaming with a foot forward. They have the Baron, they have the split push as well with ZDZ, with Shaku on the bot side of the map. ZDZ on the top and a very, very strong three-man core in the likes of Nico, Kalista and Mako that can push mid lane. Yeah. Weibo, they also just have again, the the, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Weibo have just woken up for playoffs. They have, again, they were one of the slowest teams in the league coming into it. You know, post 15 minutes, between that 25 and 30 minute mark was really where we were seeing them turning on. Uh, but here they have learned a little bit from their previous opponent. They've turned on the heat and they are not stopping the cooking because uh, they have a 4-0 light, they have a 4-2 Shaohu, and now they're looking for Gala in mid lane. But they have four item spikes and that's almost a full item over majority carries for LNG. Very well said, and it's not very easy to push into them as well. You'll see that they're trying to take advantage of pressuring down the waves and trying to crash them at the same exact time. However, it wasn't the case at this time around. Oh, Ooh. you see Scout and Zika, the TP in the back oh line. Oh my Gala, he almost just dies outright. Now Scout with the double TP from Ooh. him and Zika. They get the Pop Blossom on a Scout, but he's gonna go golden. That's a really good play call there. Here comes ZDZ though. ZDZ wants Gala, look how fast he is. And now Weibo, they take that engage. They're turning it right back on LNG. And LNG look like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. They're running around. They do get the culling back into Shao Hao. But here comes Xiao Hu. He wanted Gala. He can't get him. He can't get his old ADC, but he can take down Zika. And Light rends the life from the crocodile. And now Weibo are on to the dragon pit and TPing behind is Xiao Hu. Oh, I don't know if he actually has the angle, though. Uh, Gala trying to go over the other side. Oh, my goodness. Explosions happen, and a fish gets served up for sushi dinner. Now, Light has found him, and he gets oh. the stop on the scout. Scout wants the damage, but he doesn't have it. Weibo have picked apart LNG. They've taken everybody but Gala, and now they're looking at the base. They do not care about your Azir. They do not care about your three solo kills because Weibo Gaming's team fight is they just win? that much better. I can't believe it. No way. They just win off of this as well. They still have the minions here. Okay, ZDZ's taking a brunt of damage, but Shahu cleans them up. Oh my goodness. One fell swoop, one giant leap, and Weibo, they're on the cusp of going 2 0 up for the second time in a row. And here we go. It's match point for Weibo Gaming. A triple kill for Shahu to seal the deal as well in this series and scout. He does that not look so happy. Bad. He does not look happy. He has put such phenomenal performances back to back on the Azir game one and game two, and it's just no clicking LNG. <sighs> I feel like LNG really, really need an intervention. I feel like at this point yeah. you've chosen blue side twice, choose right side. I, I think you need to choose right side. Try to counter pick top lane, try to shut down CDZ, try yeah. to get Gala on a favorable matchup. 
I wish I could grab LNG and just shake them like this and wake them up because this is just not what we were expecting. Weibo is just beating them in every aspect of the game. The fact that Light is having an incredible performance against his previous organization. He had has has had Gala's number in every game so far, it feels like. But also, Xiao Hao showing that he means business, not only leveling up in playoffs, but against Weibo's previous jungler in Weiwei. It's looking real good. Also, I'm pretty sure he had 100% KP again. We'll check it on the other side of a break. We'll be back with game number three of this.